in this video, I'm going to show you how you master depth map creation for CNC, 3D printing, and laser engraving. And even better, it's totally free. Welcome back to Silverpunk. Have you been in the past looking at other people's depth maps and going, wow, look at the detail? Because I know I have, and it's absolutely did my head in because I couldn't work out how they were getting them so detailed. Well, if you have been asking that question and wanting to know how to do it, this is the video for you. Stick around to the very end because the secret source is at the end of how you get the real crisp details. So first off, what we're going to start with is the actual image. Now, this image, as you can see here, is just um, an AI-generated image, and I just asked for a bas relief coin of Harley Quinn, and this is what it spat out. And I, I must admit, it's really cool. And I did put blow in a bubble gum. I should put that in as well, say that as well. So all I did, I'm, I saved it as a JPEG file. You need to save the file as a JPEG. And I've done it as a bas relief. I asked for an AI image of a bas relief. So now the first job, what we've got to do is get it over into the depth map creator. So here we are, we're over in Zoe depth. And what I'll do, I'll actually put the link to this page in the description to below so you can get straight to it. This is the work page we're using and it was made by a chap called Bill F. Smith. And the one that we need to use, <coughs> excuse me, is this version here, it's version number three. And what I'm gonna do, I'll just scroll down and this is what it's actually gonna happen. This is what the normal depth map creator has come out like. But what this one does, it splits the original image into lots of little tiles and it does each individual tiles and it meshes them all together. And as you can see in the second image, it's a lot better and you get a lot better detail, but that's not the whole that's not the whole um, part of the story. A little bit later, I'll show you how you get it super detailed, but that's to come later in the video. So let's crack on with this. Now, as you can see, there's three or four versions, and there's an experimental one there that uses Lotus Depth, but we're not going to be looking at that today. We're going to be looking at this one, version number three, the Zoe Depth. So all you do is you click on that link, and then that'll open up that worksheet for this process. And when you first load it up, this is what you'll see. Depth map generation, it, again, it'll just show you what it goes through. As I say, it splits the original image into overlapping tiles, like I've just said. Now, to get it started, this is all the code. Now, you don't need to know anything about code. So all I do is I hide all that. So I just press that little arrow there and it goes away and you don't have to worry about it. So now, to start, to start it, you can either press that little go button there, the little play button, or you can press Control and F9, but I'll just press that button and you get this, this notebook was offered by William F. Smith. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's very useful. Now I click run anyway. And now it just starts. Now the next part of the process, it'll ask you to input your image. So you just wait a second while it all loads up. What it's doing now, it's connecting to the Google Colab. Now there we go. Choose files. Now you just click that and then you choose, choose just choose your photo. As easy as that. Drag and drop. Now the one we're going to be doing is it's harley quinn if i can just find it it is there she is now what a cool image that is how cool so we just click open and it's as easy as that couple of clicks now all you got to do now is just sit back go and grab a coffee and let it do its thing now the only downside with this process it is quite long because you on, on, on my system, it takes about four or five minutes to do the photo. So I always just let it go in, let it, let it go and then go and do something else. But it only takes that long because it's got to load everything in the background, all the NVIDIA stuff. As you can see here, all this on the screen, that's just all the NVIDIA stuff being downloaded and the collab stuff, which is all beyond me. So you just let that do its thing. And as I say, it's about four or five minutes. But what I do with this version you can put more than one image in you can upload four five ten twenty images however many you want to do it. it'll do it all in one go and it's only got to load all the systems once so it would be worth you saving a few up to doing a few at a time rather than just one but for this tutorial run through showing you how to do it i'm just going to do the one so what i'll do now i'll speed this up until it spits out the results now as you can see Here's the results. You've got the, the low resolution one and then it just does another little process and it makes it high res. And I'm sure you'll agree, it, you, you have got pretty good details just in that one, but we want it super detailed. So I'm going to show you the secret source of how to get it even, even more detailed. So what you do, you download the image, it downloads it up here to your download file, file, ugh, 
it downloads it here to your download history so you just drag that over to your desktop so there we have it there's a result and as you can see it is pretty good there's some detail in it and i'll be honest i've used a lot of depth map create creators and programs and they're not all made equally but i'm sure you'll agree this one's quite usable as it is but we want to get even more detail into it so what i'm going to do now is show you the secret source how i actually do it so the next step now is to actually put it into a program called GIMP. Now GIMP's another image manipulation program. And now this one, it's also free. So let's get this image across into GIMP and we'll show you how I get the really high detail depth map. I hope you're finding this useful so far. If you are, please do hit, a, hit the like button, give us a thumbs up, because it does help me. Now this next part hopefully will really help you because this, this will be the bit that shows you how to get a really detailed depth map. So here we are, this is GIMP, we've got it loaded up. Now, literally, all we're going to be doing now is dragging the images in. Now, the only thing you've got to think about, you've got to do them in the right order. Now, the order you need to do them in, you need to drag the depth mapping, which we created in Zoe Depth first, and then the original image you used. So let me show you. So here it is on the desktop. There's the, the depth map. So all I'm doing is just dragging it in and plopping it in the middle there. And you just wait for it to load up. And there you go. So as you can see, that's gone in nicely. That's what created. And now all you do is you take your, your original image, which is that one down here. You drag that directly on top and it will automatically change it into a grayscale image for us. It just takes a second because my computer is a bit slow. And as you can see, there it is. <coughs> now, what we need to do now, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, is basically put both of these images together but there's a little bit of a process. So what we need to do, we've got this one selected, the original image that's now been transformed into a grayscale 16 bit image. We just come up to here and we go filters, enhance, and we have to do a high pass filter. So we just click high pass. Okay. And as you can see, it's changed it all into grayscale and we now have got the details. So what we've got to do now, as I said, is superimpose this on top of the depth map. And the easiest way to do that, we just come up to colors and this little option here, color to alpha, and we'll let the computer do its thing. And there you have it. There's your high detail depth map, depth map now. Now you can take this to go on, you can go and do your CNC, you can make an STL file, so you can make a 3D print of it. Or you, as I said, you can put it in your CNC engraver, you can laser it. This would look really cool on a coaster, wouldn't it? If you laser and graze that, that on a coaster or a piece of wood. And that's all there is to it. So all you do now is you just come up here and you just export it. I'll just overwrite it over the original depth map. So there you have it. As you can see here, I've done the depth map. I've done a little bit of editing to it. I've cut it down slightly, tidied it up, and this would make a pretty cool... I mean, as I said, I can get this changed into an STL file now and get it 3D printed. This would make a really cool coin. You could laser engrave a coin with it, your CNC carving. And yeah, it's just a brilliant process and it's totally free. That's what's really cool. And as you can see here, this is the STL file it turned into. And again, just over the moon with it. So if you do want to do it a free way, that's how you do it. But if you're looking for something a lot faster and even more detailed, there is a paid option. If you check this video out up here, there, that's a paid option and it's a lot quicker. It's literally three or four clicks and it's done in seconds and you get an absolute fabulous depth map. So go check that video out.